My name is Dr. Howard Arnott. I'm Jenkins Garrett Professor of Biology. That's my official title. I got my PhD at the University of California in Berkeley. I graduated in 1958, a long time ago. And I've been teaching here and at other universities ever since. Renee contacted me and uh, said she had a portion of a branch and she had some what we call cookies sections of the branch and that she would bring them over to me and uh, I could uh, try to look at them and see whether I could date them. This is the, the bur oak. It's Quercus macrocarpa and it's pretty common I think in this region. People uh, have it growing in their yard but apparently this tree doesn't produce acorns as far as I know, unfortunately. It would be nice if it did. And I don't understand the reason why it doesn't produce them because it's a big, healthy tree, obviously. She bought three pieces, roughly like this one. And uh, I chose this one because it was, uh, at the time, the smoothest, and it didn't have any cracks in it. It has a little crack, but not very much crack. So that makes it easier to, to deal with counting it. That's the bark right to here. That's bark. And that starts the growth of the wood. And this part right here is called sapwood. It's light colored. And then from then on in, it's all heartwood. And the center of the stem is right here. That's the pith. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's right in the center of the, and luckily it broke away on this side, so it's clear. All of it was rough like this. And so it had to be sanded down in order to be able to look at the axle rings and to count them. But the counting of the rings is not a, a particularly difficult exercise. It's simply you have to know what one ring is and, so that you, you count the appropriate number. And if you know how to do that, it's just a matter of counting. I didn't just do it with my eye, I did it with a microscope. Uh, with the light and the microscope, I could simply look at the rings very carefully and, and know exactly what I was seeing. And uh, when we start counting, we'll go to, for example, this was cut in 2006. So we go to the first uh, increment that is well established, that'd be 2000. And so I put four marks, that's for the millennium, the millennium 2000. And then I started in and put marks every 10 rings. And so eventually we got to the pith, which is the center of the stem. Now, assuming that every ring is in fact representative of a year, then this is 226 years old.